Warning. For viewers sensitive to issues of race, be advised that the following piece contains gratuitous use of the N-word. And by N-word, I mean nigger. There, I said it. We know police brutality is a big issue these days, you know, uh, you know, all these murders by the police to our young black men, you know, Sean Bell, Amadou Diallo, you know, got assaults on people like Abner Nwima, you know, even just recently there was this pastor who tried to cross the Mexican border to come over back to America and the cops just beat him. You know, I was watching something the other day, and this guy was in the car, and like he ran the policeman over by accident, and like the car he was in flipped over, and he fell out the car. He was unconscious, and the cops just came and started beating him, even though he was already down and unconscious and obviously unarmed. You know, they some of them are like abusing their power, but the rest of y'all niggas, y'all niggas deserve that shit. This is how I always broke down the police and niggas. The police are there to stop illegal things. Selling crack is an illegal thing. The cop's job is to stop you from selling crack. Solution? Don't sell fucking crack. I'm getting sick of all these fucking, all these drug dealers and gangbangers and shit talking about fuck the police and whatever. Motherfucker, like you making them come to you, you making yourself look hot. In my hood, there's a, there's, there's a corner store on basically every corner. And they be like four or five dudes just, just you know, just loitering outside the store. You think the cops ain't gonna suspect something's up at three in the morning in front of a store? They try to generalize it, try to make it seem like, yo, the cops is after the black man, you know what I'm saying? The cops is after the black man. No, motherfucker, the cops is after your ass. I'm pretty sure when they, when they go to police academy or whatever they graduate from, there was no chapter in the book about how to beat down niggas. I'm not condoning the police. Like, like how you just gonna shoot this dude 50 times? You know what that meant? That means you had to reload and then continue to shoot at Sean Bell and, and his people. How you just gonna beat down a dude who was, you know, thrown from a car, he's already unconscious. That's a prime example of why police officers abuse their power. But don't do some obvious shit and try to get sympathy for it. Like, I hate these dudes. He'd be like, you know what I mean? So I'm on the corner, right? You know, I got crack in my pocket, you know what I mean? I'm about to push that crack, you know what I mean? So, you know, I see this cop car coming, right? So then, like, I take the crack out of my pocket and put in my ass crack, right? So then he asked me, I was like, yo, what are you doing? And he was like, I ain't doing nothing, officer. And then he was like, yo, I saw you put crack in your crack. And he was like, and I, and I say, what the fuck you did it, bitch? You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, you making yourself hot right now, man. You making yourself a target for the police. Why are you outside three in the morning smoking weed on the corner? Niggas in my hood, they do so much ignorant shit. And they try to blame the cops for them getting in trouble. Motherfucker, it's you who's getting yourself in trouble. I'll admit, you know what I'm saying, if there's like some dude who's not doing anything, not doing anything suspect at all, you know, he's just in his car at the stoplight and a cop just come and fuck with him, that's not cool. If you're doing a fucking 75 and a, and a 35 and the cops chase you down and you don't want to stop, and you going through neighborhoods, going through garages and driveways and, and backyards and inflatable swimming pools and shit just to get away. But don't, don't blame the cops on that one. That's you. That's your bullshit. In every neighborhood, there's these dudes who's known for getting in trouble. Every week, getting in trouble. You know, so don't blame the man because you get yourself in trouble every fucking week. Not and like you don't get in trouble because the cops is fucking with you. You get in trouble because you're doing stupid shit. You know what I'm saying? Don't be surprised if you sell and crack and the cops catch your ass. The fuck is wrong with you? Don't don't generalize that shit. There are some honest cops out there who's actually doing what their job title requires them to do. I'm not saying fuck them. It's not the ones who 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 come into the crib because somebody robbed you. Nah, they're cool. 
Fuck the mother motherfuckers. Like the cops who shoot people who get married in the morning. Fuck them. The cops who violate people with a plunger. Fuck them. Everybody else doing their job. I ain't got no beef with the cops, you know? I got arrested one time, and I was nothing. I cooperated. You know what I'm saying? He found my ice pick. They was like, hey, what's this? I said, you know, hey, that's mine. You know, do what you gotta do. Take me in. I was out in the morning. I didn't get beat up. I cooperated. I knew I was wrong. You know what I'm saying? Y'all motherfuckers know y'all wrong too. Get y'all be all surprised and shit. The motherfuckers who, who, who get beat down by the cops, then the motherfuckers who trying to resist the rest. Who trying to do, I ain't do shit. And he find man weed and drugs on his ass. But yo, that's all that mattered to me this May 27th, 2009. My name is Tyrone Grizz, and... Niggas. Stop being niggas.